first day of school back. I just saw a girl on that bus. Well, you're not getting on the bus today. Yep. Oh, they ain't gonna talk about y'all school. Wait, is that for real yeah. high school? How the bus is there? And they're supposed to be thinking kids are No, 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 school's going back today. Some people go back Friday. Some people go back yesterday. Some people go back Tuesday. Look in the mirror. Oh, goodness. Huh? Y'all see how fat his face is now? What happened with Alicia? I don't care. You just... <laughs> well, I don't know. When you get out for work, you know. I'm assuming he gonna pick you up because I think he's going to work. He just wasn't going this morning. All right, you guys. But this is how his hair is cut. Don't know. He still has all the back of his little ponytail. He kind of got like a little mohawk thing going on, pretty much. But, um, the only thing he got cut down was the sides. So, he got like a little mohawk, but he still got all this other hair on top. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm putting in it. And I did moisturize it really, really well last night. So, all I got to do is just go in with a little bit on the top. Because it's always, y'all know, the top of everybody's hair will dry out quicker than anything else. But I moisturized real well yesterday. And I just used the Bella Curls. And when I washed it, I did condition it. I did all of that with the Bella, Girl, Bella Curls products. And then I went back in with the Murray Natural Lock. And I put that throughout. I kind of almost pretty much just greased his scalp with that. Because even though he doesn't have braids in it at the moment, it'll still help keep it moisturized and looking all neat and together. So once I put the the Murray's in it, I'll go in and comb it and then I'll brush it. So yep. And he really likes it, huh, bud? Mm-hmm. At first he did not want them to cut it because he was thinking they was gonna cut the entire hair. Soon as he heard them clippers come on, who and our cousin owned the barbershop. Um, you guys have never met him. You probably have seen his dad on camera before, but he's the junior. But um, the guy that actually cut his hair wasn't his cousin. It was his friend. His cousin, best friend. What brush went to, bud? I just had it. Oh, you know he be holding it. Yeah. And y'all did see the guy. And y'all probably seen the cousin, my cousin on camera too. He was a shorter guy. That's our cousin, Mark Jr. And they just called him Jr. Mommy, you know something? You can't even brush right here anymore. No. It's just all clear. And all right, get your glasses on. Alright y'all, when I get back from with Philip, well, Talia is about to drop Rante off at work. My brother couldn't go into work today because he had to take care of some stuff with his daughter. And then they don't, they're don't they not going to open the, um, the doors up to the school anyway until 7 o'clock. So I'll get there 5 till. So we'll be in line and get him to get into his class and I'm coming back. And then he'll ride the bus Monday. Yeah. So he about to eat breakfast. So he has, he got four to five minutes, well, yeah, four to five minutes. And this is normally what he's do, what he does, and he's done by 6.15 and sitting down eating. And this is every morning we have him sitting down eating by 6.15. Because even when he catches the bus, the bus comes before 7. So he still has time to eat and everything. And right now we're not bringing him his own lunch because with the new medications he's on his doctor want to see how he's going to do with the school breakfast so they're going to try him on it no you eating breakfast at, you're going to eat the school breakfast and lunch for a week remember i told you dr omar want to see how you're going to do with school lunch and breakfast All right. I'll, just, I'll just try one time well, no, not one time. She want to see how you want to do. When you go, when you go back to the doctor to see her in a couple of weeks, that's when you'll let her know how you've been doing with school lunches, okay? But that's what he's wearing today. I'm not in broadcast. 
breakfast. Okay, but you can still leave breakfast at school. Mom, can I still, Mom, can I still get on the tablet? Yes. Right, Mike. Darren Sharper is now challenging. That's what Lee just wearing. She's not wearing that little ponytail thing on her head yet. No, I haven't done my hair yet. Oh, there go Darren Sharp. Oh, Lord Jesus. You remember when he got caught up in all that stuff from raping them women? Okay, now put your hand down. Okay, outfit of the day. Uh, these pants are from Fashion Nova. High waisted. So no one can see, you know, my stomach because belly buttons are a thing. And the shirt is from Charlotte Roos. Didn't get it. It's Riante's. Um, I don't have my necklace on, but my necklace is from Burks. Uh, what else was I wearing? My ring that I'm going to wear. Where's that from? Oh, from Two One. Uh, my bracelet that I'm wearing, it, well, that I'm going to wear is from, I got it for my birthday, from my friends. Shout out to you. You know who you are. And then, go down. Not wearing them now, but I'm going to be wearing my breaking socks. I'll show you my uh, wallet is also from Burks. I promise y'all will see the rest of her outfit as soon I'm as she comes. Did I text him when I go to lunch to see if he's going to go to work? Where your daddy? He, he left. Me off. Oh, he just dropped you off and left. Do you want me to see when I go to lunch if he's going to work? Yeah, you got to see if he's going into work today. A lot of memories I did not want to go through. <laughs> All right, y'all. Everybody out there taking pictures of their kids. I'm trying to get this from the school. Yeah, let me tell y'all. I didn't record Philip at all in the in the um what you call it? Classroom. In the class because Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for that garbage truck. But yeah, y'all, he <laughs> I'm about to drop this little kiddo off and then go at home and get me some breakfast. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry now. Oh, yeah. And I'm used to getting up this early in the morning. They even got some new nice bus drivers. Oh, mm -hmm. I said this school, whoo, they turning up. Ten yeah, because they getting like, they bus drivers. Fun. We got a black superintendent now. Because before they had some questionable bus drivers. We still got questionable bus drivers. Yeah, she bus had the one that picked Philip up. That lady just a little spare in for real, for real. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to be going because none of my friends like me. I'm just glad she don't have them early classes no more. Thank you, Lord. Well, I mean, we happy because. But once Philip get on the bus, then she'll go to school. But. I don't think Philip thought that I had school today. Cause he, he when he had walked in the um, living room, Razzy was like, "What's wrong with you?" And he said, "I'm the only one who had school." Yeah, cause usually you leave before she usually leave out, or before when he's going to get on the bus. Yeah, next year he gonna be the only one in school. Yeah. You know, as far as my kids are concerned, he's gonna be the only one. Back, y'all. I'm so happy. Y'all just don't know. Hey, the that's in my already getting, girl. And I'm glad she's starting school today. I am, but Lord have mercy. Y'all just don't understand the feeling that I get. I'm so upset. My phone's on 100. I brought my charger just in case I hate the school. <laughs> so I gotta be here at 3 o'clock, right, chick? 3, girl. Well, I'm gonna be here before 3, but y'all get that. Y'all get this miss early. I'm so glad she is. Please remember me, my makeup she in that thing. Early. Please remember my. Remember my makeup and that thing and take it out. I'm glad you dismissed early. Y'all say bye to my senior. Bye. Have fun. Yes. Okay, I'm about to leave out of the car so I don't look senior. weird talking to my this camera. Girl, I don't care what they think. But I do. Bye. Uh, Love you. Uh, oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> she just slipped. Oh, my good. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Yes, honey. Senior. Saying this is the last year. I gotta do this one. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I'm for real happy, y'all. Like, this is the last time I have to do with this with Alicia. Her first day as a senior. And now I'm waiting for her last day as a senior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't lying to y'all, not one bit. 
I love my baby, but I am glad this is her senior year. I'm ready for her to go on and move on to do beautiful things, y'all. For real. Yep, I am glad that this child will be going on to college and doing big things. I got big dreams and everything for my kiddos, so. I'm back at the house. I, so I it's 10 06. I do have my beans started. I'm about to fix breakfast because I'm kind of late on everything. I came in and was talking to my mama. And then we had company came over. But I do got my beans in. And it is two pounds that I'm doing of red beans. It's the camellia red beans. So I'm doing the bag beans from scratch. I got all my seasonings in. And I do put a half a stick of butter in with mine. And it's just the smoothness and the creaminess that it gives to it. And these beans are going to cook for some hours. And I do have it on, uh, what's that, medium. And I just want it to come to a rolling boil. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down on four and just let them cook, cook, cook. And like I said, I got all my seasonings. But right before they're done, I am going to add some of my um, filet to it. And I know some of you guys may be like, what? You put yes, I do put filet in my red beans as well as my butter beans, and it's just how we do. And I will be making some cornbread along with it. And I do not add any salt to mine because all the seasoning that I add to it have enough salt in it. So once they're done, I'll taste it and see if I need salt. But because I add the seasoned salt and I do add a little bit of accent with all my other Cajun seasonings and stuff along with it and then I do the red beans um, seasoning mix which has salt in it and then also I just do my trinity my regular trinity seasonings to it and so yeah it's well seasoned but I just never go in and do a lot of salt and then I do add a little pinch of sugar to it because it will cut back on some of the gas that you can get and it also balances out all of the seasonings um, you know all the spices so yeah so I'm just going to go ahead on and let this cover and do its thing. And like I said, probably within like 20 minutes or so before it's done, I will add my filet. So my gumbo, and I don't even time it because I say around three hours. Sometimes it take a little bit over, sometimes less. But I just never time it because I watch it throughout the day. I got my rice, my rice. I got my water boiling for my tea because I am about to make me some more homemade tea. I have one pitcher left in the refrigerator, so I have to make me another pitcher. And then I'm running out, so I got to go get some more. And for my breakfast, I'm going to make some of my sausage patties with some biscuits. And I might do some oatmeal. I'm not sure. I don't want any grits. And then we have some chicken defrosting and some water right here. And it is a whole cut up chicken. So it's all, you know, chicken breast, legs, thighs, all of that. And I'm going to fry along with my red beans. So we will be having red beans, rice, smoked sausage, fried chicken, cornbread. And I'm going to do a salad. Um, so I won't start on my chicken until about 1, about 1 o'clock. And then they go, Mama, say hey, Mom. Oh, she was trying to swallow a pill. <laughs> and I'm about to drink me some tea, eat my York peppermint patty. Yep, before breakfast. Yes, yep, before breakfast. <laughs> and y'all, I've been enjoying my paydays. Y'all always ask me what is my, well, not all y'all, but some of y'all be asking me what I like to snack on. And I love paydays. Um, I'll eat Yorks and just different candies, Reese's, Kit Kats. But paydays, I love me some paydays and what you might call it. All right, y'all. I got everything on. All the food that needs to be on right now. I want everything else to put frosty for a little bit later. Mama's outside giving the puppy some more water. It's my mother. Call him my mama. Hold on, y'all. Hey, guys. Good morning. Welcome back. Happy Saturday, y'all. How y'all doing? Everybody that's new on my channel, thank you for coming over. And welcome, you guys. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the crew. Oh, we got a uh, run in our city this morning and around the 
the area that I live in, everything is blocked because they run it on those that main two main roads. And I forgot. <laughs> I forgot all about it until I went out, you know, on my street and I was like, what in the what? Didn't realize. Mm -hmm. So I had to actually end up going all the way around. <laughs> All the way around. I said, boy, that's what happens on Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings. But, how y'all doing this morning? Hope y'all had a, well, I hope y'all had a great week. And I hope that y'all will have a great weekend as well. Um, my kids, first day of school yesterday was successful. Philip enjoyed his day. I will be, um, talking to you guys more about his classes and everything um, you guys know the end of the school year I had mentioned about this upcoming year and working with the superintendent and what they're going to do about his classes with his autism and his dyslexia and all that so I will do a video um, probably this week well, this week coming up talking about that and I had a meeting in the summer and we got everything resolved and done and with his TIL programs in order. So, so far, the syllabus and everything that they have going on, and the superintendent will sit in all of the meetings, which I like that. Yeah, our superintendent that we have now, she is awesome. Like, she really do care about the kids. Yeah, you know, we understand that it's about politics at the end of it, and the grants and everything that gotta still keep the school running. But when I tell you guys the stuff that this lady has done within, she's been here three years. This is her third year. And y'all know that first year is hard to get anything done. So I'm going to say within two years of things that she has done and put in place, it's like you wouldn't believe it. Um, and I know race has nothing to do with it. Uh, none of that. But she's a, um, she's, she's a female. She's black. She's from here. She's from Mississippi. And she's a wife she's a mother you know she grew up poor so she know how it is she grew up with children with disabilities she grew up with it within her city just herself she grew up with a lot of issues and stuff with school and reading so that's why she went into education so she cares about although she cares about her job and everything that comes with it she also cares about the kids and know that she got to put the kids first and the families first and she'll sit here and listen to you she will have a meeting and listen to you now she don't deal with the bull crap like she'll tell you if this is crazy you just you being crazy but she, and she'll tell you you got to be hands on with your kids but she will still sit here and listen to you she's you know she has one of those open door policies and she'll let you know in a minute but if you email the teacher and did everything you can and you talk to the principal and you're still not getting anywhere, you can definitely come to me. And she's been like that from day one. Um, Talia was actually, it was her senior year. And it was the beginning of the senior year when she came. And she had talked to all of the parents, all of the seniors and stuff that was going out and people who had kids still in school. And, you know, she said what she was about. And she was like, well, before getting hired on, you know, she had got to go through the whole process and everything. She said, but she let them know how she is and what she want. And if it's not going to fit what the school wanted, then she wasn't going to even take the job. So I appreciate that. But, y'all, she really has been doing her thing. Um, and she makes you feel good. You know, it's not one of them, like, you go to a meeting and they tell you what they think you want to hear and they sugarcoat it and then they don't do anything about it. Like, if she tell you you can call me, you can call her. You know, she may be in a meeting or whatever at that moment. But she will call you back. If not the end of that day, that next day. She will text you and say, you know, I was in a meeting, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I will contact you before such and such time. And she will do it. Um, so it's like, I like that. That's, you know, like I said, I just wanted to open a video let you guys know all of that. What's going on. Um, and when I get back, I'm just going to start cooking breakfast. I'm not doing a big big thing i'm just having sausages eggs grits and biscuits just well sausages eggs french sausage eggs grits and french toast <laughs> that's what i'm having today um and we having leftovers for dinner i did red beans rice smoked sausage and cornbread that's what they having today for leftovers and tomorrow 
we're having this regular staple fried chicken potato salad sweet peas stuff like that um yeah so but i'll see you guys a little bit later okay i just got back from walmart and i had to go get a few items so i decided that i'm going to just share them with you guys since i did not record while i was in walmart they had their big box of breakfast squares y'all know usually i get these from sam's but i seen them on display and it's very seldom they have the 18 bars y'all know usually they'll just do like the 12 10 pack or six pack and it was 4.98 and i said for some reason i guess i don't know how they got them on a discount but to have them for that price i went on and copped them so i got one box because i like both of them but i like to heat mine in the microwave for a second and I had bought a box of these last month from Sam's and I was out. So I'm glad I found them at Walmart. So like I said, I went on and got them. But I do heat mine for like 30 seconds in the microwave. And I got a 12, uh, 24 pack of Sam Cokes. One of the Mrs. Butterworks. Because I was thinking about either doing waffles or some French toast. I wasn't sure. But just in case I wanted waffles, I went on and picked up one of these. I got one of the um, Kool-Aid Jammers in the Strawberry Kiwi and one in the Grape. The box juices or the carton juices, I got the Minute Maid Lemonade, the Just a 15 Calorie one. And of course, these are like 150 And then I got the Berry Punch, the Bright and Early Orange juices. I got two of them. One of the original, um, just a regular Great Value Orange juice with calcium and vitamin D. One gallon of milk, the Angel Mama Butter Rich, and I always get the 36 ounce because they go through syrup here. I needed some onion powder and garlic powder for my chicken for tomorrow. I was down to my bottom, so I went on and got that. And then I just got one of the small Quaker grits because our store was, our Walmart was out of the regular grits. I still cook mine over five minutes, but this is all they had was these in the box. So I just went on and got this until they stopped back up so that was it oh and i just picked me up one of the little mini made to drink on the way home all right you guys breakfast is done i just did grits french toast sausages and i did two different types of sausages and they're gonna fill up fill up like his sausage is crisp and of course my hands are clean and they're not burned he just like his crisp he got his two french toast cut up some grits his apples and his apple juice and this is his coffee cup that alicia grandmother well his grandmother gave him so he drinks his apple juice and stuff out of his coffee cup. Say good morning, bud. Good morning. And it's... Hope y'all can see that better. Okay, sausages, my grits. And then I got two French toast. Homemade French toast. And then, yeah, I'm just drinking my mini made lemonade that I showed in um, the hall. So I'm about to sit down and eat and let this one eat. 